Well, as I said before, I trusted him. Uh, and uh, as I got to know him better personally, he became sort of my uh, spiritual mentor and uh, a counselor of sorts. What do you mean by spiritual mentor or counselor? Well, uh, I couldn't really go to my father with spiritual things. I could, but I just wasn't really comfortable talking to him because his responses would be limited. But I could go to uh, Rich and ask him anything, any questions. Uh, he would have me memorize scripture and quiz me on it and all sorts of things like that. Did you ever go to him for any type of problems other than spiritual? Yes. What kinds of problems? Any problems that I was having. Like what? Uh, any family problems. Uh, if uh, I was having trouble with my mother, I could go to him. What kind of trouble with your mother? She uh, had addiction problems, and uh, sometimes she would be gone. And uh, Rich was in the street ministry, so uh, he was literally the first person that I would call if I heard she was gone. At this point in your life, when you're getting close to Rich, what did you think about him? I thought he was a great guy. He was like the father that I never had. Okay. Did you ever think that he would harm somebody? Only uh, if there was a reason for it, such as uh, protecting a loved one. He never gave you any indication that he would harm people otherwise? No. Why would you say only if he was protecting a loved one? I know that he loved uh, his parents and his daughter very much. And uh, he was close with my father, so I was like his family too. So you figured he would protect you? Yes. Have you ever actually seen him fight anybody or anything like that? Uh, not personally. Okay. Have you ever seen him, other than these instances, be violent? Okay. I want to start talking to you about these instances that were here today. Um, was there a point in your life when your opinion of Richard Beasley had changed? Absolutely. And when was that? That was uh, the morning that he murdered a man in front of me. Now, when you went to Southern Ohio, um, why were you going down there again? I was going down there just to be someone there to help him get this gentleman set up on a job. Okay. <coughs> The, uh, and what were these guys, and who was this guy in August? What was his name? I found out afterwards that his name was uh, Mr. Ralph Geiger. Okay. I was uh, last walking back to the car, and uh, I was trying to uh, cross this, this stream uh, on these rocks. And uh, just as I had finally gotten my footing, I looked up, and uh, Mr. Geiger was uh, furthest towards the car. Mr. Beasley was behind him, and I was probably uh, 20 feet away. Tell the jury what happened next. When I looked up, uh, Mr. Beasley pulled the pistol out from wherever he had it and uh, shot Mr. Geiger in the back of the head. How did he hold the pistol? Held it with both hands to the back of his head. What were you thinking? when he pulled this pistol out and held it to the back of Mr. Geiger's head? That split second, uh, I didn't think it was real. It was as if uh, somehow I immediately slipped into a dream or something like that. How long did it take for him to pull this gun out and shoot Mr. Geiger? Probably a second to pull it out, two seconds, or a second to pull it out and then another second uh, to shoot him. So it was immediately. Did you have time to say anything? I said to myself, oh my God. Did you scream or anything like that? <coughs> what was going through your mind after he shot Mr. Geiger? That this wasn't real. Describe it to us. What was, what was happening? 
When we came in, uh, the sun was out, it was a beautiful day, and it seemed like right at that instant uh, that the woods seemed to get darker somehow and that it was hazy and it just seemed like a completely different place. Were you scared? Right that first second, I didn't, nothing registered, but afterwards, <coughs> when it didn't seem to go away, probably a second or two later, yes, I was terrified. How were you feeling at that moment? Did you have any feelings? I felt like I had ice in my veins. What do you mean ice in your veins? I felt like I had icicles in the veins of my neck, like, uh, like animal fear. Did you think you were going to die? Yes. Did you ever want Mr. Geiger to die? No. Did he was you? A very nice man. 